Alright, so we just found the Anis statue. Next, you have to go into this room that's over here. <sighs> the next thing you have to do is place. The mantle on this fireplace is missing something. The Florida. It fits. Wait. There's more to this. The piece is rotated a certain way, but I cannot remember how. You'll find out later. Now you want to go over here, and this is the Cupid statue. Cupid was the god of love, and one of Venus' sons. He is often depicted with a blindfold, which is why people say that love is blind. After that, there's stairs back here that you ha want to go up. This is where the things are, at the very top. There is turning of the disc. You have to read each of these though. See, each of them's turned up here. You don't worry about that until later. These are each e e Egyptian gods. Nidaba was the Sumerian goddess of learning, fighting, and accounting. At the beginning of every new year, she would inscribe the events that took place at the judgment of humankind. Tiamat, the serpent goddess of the abyssal waters. When time began, the Babylonians believed there were only Tiamat and Abzu. When Tiamat was slain, her body was cleaved in half. One part formed the sky, and the other, the earth. Her dying tears formed the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. I'm sorry, you're all getting history lessons. That little star at the very top that appears, it actually, I'll show you what it means after. Belitili the Sumerian goddess of the womb. The other gods begged her to create mankind so that there would be someone to till the soils and dig canals. She created men by shaping clay mixed with saliva and the blood of the undergod Al-Ilu, who was slain for this purpose. And then she created women so that they could continue to bear men. No, no one should get offended. Men and women should not get offended. This is actually, if you've read the book, then it's about um, the sacred feminine, which is pretty much goddess worship, as mentioned in the very first part. And Jacques Saunier was a big goddess worshipper, which you'll see later. And then the next one is Isis. Isis, the Egyptian goddess of rebirth, healing, and love. When her husband Osiris was cut to pieces by Set, Isis retrieved the pieces, reassembled him, and nursed him back to health. It was Isis who placed the sun god Ra in the sky and introduced the people to agriculture, law, and medicine. If you haven't read the book, then you might not know this, but the Mona, Mona Lisa is also a, an anagram for a Mona Lisa, which is pretty much Isis and the, the Greek goddess Isis. And then the Greek god, not the Greek gods, the Egyptian god is Isis, and the Egyptian god of fraternity, and it's Mona Lisa as the acronym. Just for people who haven't read the book, I'm feeling really snotty right now while saying that, and I apologize. Anyway, now you have to keep going up the stairs, and there's the door with a weird open for some reason with a symbol of the Priory of Sion, so you just ah, it worked. Now for the next part. And you open this, and I actually do wish I had a bedroom like this, because this is a very nice bedroom. What you want to do next, this is picture, is go over to the bed. There is the Vichy's tank on it somewhere. Right there. The Vichy's tank. <sighs> After you do that, go over here and look at the first top drawer. There is a poem that you must read for the whole reason about the statues. I think this poem is related to the stained glass depictions of the goddesses. 
From her the heaven and earth were torn, from her the race of men were born. By her their names were writ in stone, by her the healing love we show was shown. That was actually a clue to the whole fleur de lis which order is supposed to be in, the Egyptian goddesses. And then on the right there is a large bandage in one of these drawers, right here. And then the very bottom drawer, over here, there's another priory drawer. So you guys must use your ring. Well done. And grab the Vulcan statue. This must be Vulcan, the god of fire and the forge. He was Venus's husband. She wanted Venus's husband. Anyway. Now you don't want to. There is a path here, but you don't want to go that way yet. I think. One second, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, you want to go back down to where the statues were? The, I mean, the stained glass was? And examine those, and they'll tell you how to turn the discs. So then you want to go all the way back down to... the room with the fleur de lis which is also known as a lily, apparently. I mentioned the book. And then you want to turn these. You want to turn the first one down. You want to turn the first one down. This one to the right. The next one up. And this one to the left. And that's the answer. And of course you get this thing again. And the lion's mouth opens and gives you Venus. The Venus statue. Hmm. The Roman goddess Venus. Grandfather told me she was the epitome of love and sexual desire. She had many lovers and many sons. Jupiter was her father. Vulcan her husband and Mars was her lover. Cupid was her son, born a god. While Aeneas was her mortal child. But it was Aeneas who founded the Roman Empire. And so now, after that, you want to go all the way back upstairs. Pass the bedroom into that one area I sh was going to go down, but decided not to. And that area will be featured next part, so stay tuned.